Hi everyone, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a unboxing of BoxyCharm. I know this is going to be for the month of April. We're already in May. I know what's taking me so long. Sorry guys, I have honestly been working so much so I have not been able to keep up with the videos that I have for you guys, but don't worry. I'm going to go ahead and go through April and I will eventually go through May. So this is the April BoxyCharm. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the products. I did have some time to try out these products so I can be able to tell you what I liked out of it. I'm also going to do the usual where I say what I liked out of the previous March BoxyCharm and go ahead and tell you what I think about that. Now um, as usual, let's talk about BoxyCharm just for you new people who are just coming into my channel. BoxyCharm is a monthly makeup subscription which allows you uh, five full size products. This lets you test out the products. I really like it better than Ipsy because Ipsy only gives you travel size products and BoxyCharm gives you the full size product which gives you a lot of time to actually see if you really like the product or if you don't like the product which I think is great. Now um, out of the uh, BoxyCharm you pay $21 a month. You can choose to pay more money up front and this is going to save you uh, per box if you decide to go that route. Now uh, every box comes with a card for the theme of that particular month. So for this particular month is going to be uh, Boho Glow. Now uh, the reason why I think they went with Boho Glow is they were going with the Bohemian kind of like style which is kind of like you know Coachella, those kind of festivals and stuff like that. So they went with that and this behind this card is going to have your five products. It's going to have a description of those particular products for you, tips and tricks, and where you can actually buy more of that particular product if you decide you like that brand or that particular product. So um, this is our uh, five products that we have here. So we're going to go ahead and go over each product. Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, and the first product that we have, I'm going to go ahead and pull it out and open it. It is this three little colored sponges. I went ahead and opened it. These are like, I'm guessing, this is gonna be their uh, beauty blenders, the kind of like beauty sponge, beauty blender, whatever you wanna call it. It came with a total of three guys, so that's, I'm pretty excited because these can last me a pretty long time. So uh, granted, having three is just even more the better. So uh, what I like about it is it has a straight edge on it, as you can see here. It kind of reminds me of the Real Techniques uh, beauty sponge, which I'm pulled it right here. This is, see how it's straight edge like this one? This is Real Techniques, and this is the one that came in the box uh, by Pure Cosmetics. It says Pure on the front there. And what I really like about this, um, it's not really sturdy. I like it when these beauty sponges are very soft. Uh, I feel that it applies the makeup a lot better than if it was like really rock hard. So obviously you damp these and you use them to apply your foundation, cream uh, contour or your cream concealer. And uh, these go a long way. These are also good to uh, use for your setting powder to set underneath the eyes as well. So it came with a total of three. And let's see what it says here. Um, this is the Blend Squad 3 Piece Contour Blending Sponges by Pure Cosmetics. This retails for $36, and you can get this at purecosmetics.com. Um, let's see, these are latex free and non allergenic blending sponges, and they can be used damp or dry, uh, washable, reusable, and odor free. All right, so our next product is the Project Beauty Hair Gurt Strawberry and Banana uh, Smoothing Yogurt Shampoo. Now, I thought you played me BoxyCharm, thought you played me hardcore, but I thought I got this product a couple months back and granted, lo and behold, I checked and it is actually, this is the product I got a couple months back. This is the same brand, same scent, except this is the hair mask and um, I love this product, don't get me wrong, I just thought I got it again and I was kind of a little peeved at first. but. I got to try both of these products out. I originally loved this product, so I knew I wasn't going to be disappointed by this product. Now, first and foremost, what I got to say about this particular product is it smells amazing. If you have, you know how you have that good shampoo that smells just so good that you just like, you contemplate, like it just smells like you can eat it. This is that hair product. Just telling you guys, it is amazing. I've already tried it and I really do like it. This is uh, with probiotics and super botanicals for beautiful hair. It's sulfate free, so if you're blonde like me, sulfate free products are the way to go. So I really love this, this is safe to use, especially if you're blonde and the smell is just amazing. Now looking at our card here, let's see. This retails for uh, $10. And let's see, it says here by myprojectbeauty.com is where you can get more. 
Uh, wondering when your hair got a mind of its own? Try this creamy, rich shampoo with yogurt, uh, prebiotics, uh, quinoa, six botanical oils, and biocarotene to help tame frizzy, dry hair, free of sulfates, parabens, harsh salt systems, harmful colors, and harmful fragrances. So, again, guys, this is sulfate free. If you're blonde, this is the way to go. It's really good. And also, the hair mask does not disappoint if you want to go ahead and check out their website and go ahead and check into those particular hair products. Alright guys, so the next product that we have here is this concealer collection. It comes with 16 actual concealers. As you can see here, you have light shades and dark shades. So I'm going to go ahead and do a swatch. This one is actually a very, very creamy, but they're not too thick and they're not too thin. So that's what I kind of like. They kind of have like a very um, a very medium consistency. It's not too thin or too thick, so you're going to be able to use this to uh, contour as well as be able to use for under eye coverage and concealing. So let's see what it says about this particular product here. Uh, let's see. The concealer palette is retailed at $19.99, and this is basically measurabledifference.com. This features 16 versatile shades. This makeup set works for any skin tone. A creamy, blendable formula melts perfectly into skin, making any blemish and skin flaw disappear. So uh, this is pretty good for $19.99. It's actually not bad, guys. So that is going to be our third product. So moving on to our fourth product. This is the... Go ahead and bust this open. This is the Ofra highlighting. Let's see. This is an Ofra highlighting uh, compact, and this comes with the shade Rodeo Drive, and this is a highlighter. So this is actually. Let's go ahead and use our fan brush here and see how well this applies. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip in like so. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and just basically apply and see how well that that shines so well. Ooh, I am feeling it. I really like it. It's very, it's actually very bright and it does apply very well. So I'm actually gonna try this particular product out. Now I've heard of Ofra products. They are not very disappointing at all. So let's see here. This is Rodeo Drive Highlighter by Ofra Cosmetics. This is retail for $35. So for $35, this is Soak Up the Summer Sun Day or Night with Ofra's Rodeo Drive Highlighter. This radiant new product captures the luxury and glamour of the famous streets in sunny California. So obviously where you want, want to apply this particular product is the highest points of your face right here, on the bridge of the nose here, also on the cupid's bow. And uh, this is going to obviously apply very well if you use a fan brush. So I really like this particular highlight right here on this from Ofra Cosmetics out of this entire collection. So our fifth and final product is going to be this right here. This is uh, basically the Allegory Story Cosmetics Lip Gloss. This is in the shade Plato's Cave, so we're going to go ahead and open this up. And this is basically a nice nude color. This is what it looks like. And it has these cute little pink clouds up here on the top. And this is basically a lip gloss, so let's go ahead and read what it says. This is Lip Gloss Plato's Cave, retail price at $15. And this is a creamy pigmented lip gloss with a bold color and a touch of vanilla scent. So let's see if that vanilla scent's real. So we're gonna go ahead and take it out and we're gonna basically apply like so. Okay, all right, kind of. It has that vanilla scent. It's not as strong. Um, I think the Kylie Cosmetics lip gloss is a very strong vanilla scent compared to this one. It's very light, so it's okay. But here is the shade right here. This is the shade swatch of it. And this is obviously you would top with a nice lipstick or you could just wear it by itself. It probably would still, good look, it would still look good by itself. So that is our fifth product, guys. Now let's go ahead and jump back to last month's BoxyCharm, and we're gonna talk about my favorite product from that particular product. Uh, if you wanna see March's BoxyCharm, you can go ahead and click the link down below to go ahead and view that. Uh, my favorite product is gonna be the winner is this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. 
I already had tried this product before and I have been in love with it and I had actually been using the Urban Decay uh, primer for a while and when I finally got this in my BoxyCharm I tried it again. I fell back in love and I use this for my foundation now. I love this because it gives you a nice soft feel canvas to try like to feel it before you try putting your foundation over and it goes a long way this stuff lasts so i really do like it a little bit goes a long way too you don't even have to put in a lot of this stuff so this is my favorite product uh this is oil free so this is perfect for people who have very oily skin um you can use this and it doesn't have any oil in it so that was my favorite product guys so obviously guys that is all for today's video. I want to say thank you for watching my previous BoxyCharms. If you're a subscriber, thank you so much. Also, if you're not subscribed and you're new to my channel, feel free to click on the link down below. Uh, watch more videos if you'd like. And if you like this channel, go ahead and click the subscribe button down below. Also, feel free to add me on Snapchat, Twitter, or Instagram. And those are also going to be linked down below if you want to go ahead and check those out. So, also guys, as usual, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care.